Twister Christian. Today I want to give you guys a prophetic alert update. And this kind of just, just deals with Kim Clement and his prophecies concerning the banking system. And that's one of the things that I never really looked for too much. Uh, looking for keywords that don't have anything to do with the dinar or any kind of currency reset. So I was doing some research and I found some additional Kim Clement uh, prophecies concerning the banking system. Now some of you might already know these already. Um, I had not seen them before. So that's why I'm presenting the information. All right, so if you look at where the world is today, you see everything that's going on with the virus, you see the economy, you see how bad things are. We know that uh, probably by now, since October, the Federal Reserve has probably pumped more money than the national debt. And if you guys watch this channel, and especially if you watch some of the other uh, people who talk about the economy, they talk about all the trillions of dollars. And uh, they just put another $2 trillion in one day into the markets. And so we've gone beyond, or right at that point, where, where our national debt is. But one of the things I wanted to focus on is to focus on what Kim Clement said about the banking system. Now, before I get started, just, just to kind of explain prophecy a little bit from the way I understand it. Okay, especially like when you look at end time prophecy, right? You look at it's in the book of Revelation, it's, the, it's in the book of Daniel, it's in the book of Jude, it's in, you know, various books throughout the Bible, right? And you, you have to put all the pieces together. If you wanted to put together a timeline, you have to look at each prophecy or each of the books that have prophecies concerning end times and then you have to put together a puzzle. Well, Kim Clement and his prophecies are exactly the same way. And I believe that if Kim Clement was in that was living was living during biblical times uh, I'm pretty sure that his words would have been recorded into the Bible but that's my opinion but we're gonna go ahead and get into what he said about the banking system because it correlates with everything that we've already said we talk about he talks he talks about the dinar and the break in the system okay now before I get started this is uh, everything that I'm telling you or everything that I'm sharing with you is my it's either my opinion or it's a theory or it's a thought it doesn't mean what I say or my comment on what is being said means anything All right so that's why we do the research and we connect the dots so I'm presenting the information you can take the information I hear what I hear you hear what you hear but we're here to put ourselves into a position to where we can be we can help build God's kingdom okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into what he says about the banking system and one thing guys I really hope that once this dinar does revalue and the global currency reset takes place I hope that you guys do donate to the Kim Clement ministry the house of destiny I think it's very important a lot of us wouldn't even be where we are right now as far as having faith and hope if it wasn't for the words of Kim Clement All right this comes from December 3rd 2005 right and you guys can go to the house of destiny.org and go to the prophecy section you can you can go there and you can type in your own keywords look for whatever because what I'm telling you I'm giving you little snippets but you got to remember you have to look at everything in the whole context you can't just always just take one paragraph you have to look at the whole thing but I'm gonna take little snippets and then from there if you guys want to go you can do your research link is down below in the description to the website that I'm using right now all right so on December 3rd 2005 there is a banking system that shall crash and they shall say but it is so big how can this happen in America and God said it shall crash it shall crash and there, sh and there shall be a shaking just for a short moment in time but there is something happening called the Damascus Road conversion of three major networks in this country and I will put it as I did with Paula White and will continue to do with my servants who are prepared to shamelessly speak his name and not the creed okay so that's uh, pretty powerful right there so he says that it's going to according to the prophecy but God is saying that this is going to crash, but it's only going to be 
for a short moment in time. So doesn't that sound like, again, what we've discussed, like with, with what's going down, with, with what's going on right now, you see where the Dow is and you see where the stock markets and, you know, the media is having this fear frenzy that's going on. But it is really, in, in actuality, when you actually look at the whole thing, you look at the debt, I mean, it really is in trouble. And of course, it's exaggerated. It's it's even. What I will say is that the that the banking system is really in trouble. When you look at 350 trillion dollars worth of debt, total combined, uh, that's government debt, personal debt, business debt. But one of the other interesting things he does say in this is see this is where you get other little nuggets that you might not even see. Uh, he talks about the Damascus Road conversion of three major networks in this country. I'm not sure if we've seen that yet. And then, of course, he talks about Paula White, as I will put, as I did with Paula White, and will continue doing with my servants, who are prepared unshamely to speak his name and not the creed. Well, this was back in 2005, and of course, you guys know that Paula White is the spiritual advisor to Donald Trump, to the President of the United States. So I find that interesting. So that looks like that was... Uh, uh, looks like to me that that prophecy was was fulfilled. So obviously he's talking about this time period that we're in right now, and because he talked about the the banking system crashing, and then within the same, and then with the same paragraph, he mentioned okay. So in this in this one uh, big paragraph, he mentions the banking system will crash, but only for a moment in time. Right? Then he talks about the Damascus Road conversion of three major networks. And they also talked about Paula White. So to me, it's like, well, now she's Trump's spiritual advisor. So what happened that God would allow her to be in that place? So maybe some type of a conversion of what she was dealing with because she's been through a lot. It's nobody's perfect. It's not me to uh, try to judge that whole entire situation. But it's interesting that she's mentioned at the same time about this banking crash when she's actually the spiritual advisor to the president of the United States. So I believe that this is the time that we are referring to. This is the way that I'm thinking is that this, when he's speaking of this banking system that shall crash, and then Paula White's mentioned in there, she's a spiritual advisor to the president, tells me that I believe that Kim is talking about this particular time period. And just to kind of give a little tidbit while I'm already on December 3rd, 2005, it says here, it says, in America, a new source of energy, America the pioneer, coming from beneath their feet, that bugs have enjoyed shall become a major source, because along with the discovering, this shall another great discovery come forth from the month of April next year, between February and April. Okay, so he talks, so he's talking about these new sources of energy, and that's why... Uh, I'm very careful about uh, investing so much into the oil industry because there's going to be new sources of, and depending on what type of energy this is, whether or not if those type of companies will be able to drill for that or how it's harvested, that remains to be seen. But we need to watch that. Okay, April 18, 2008. All right, and this is what Kim said. While I was praying again this afternoon, the Lord told me to remind the people that there are two great banking systems that will that will fall. No fear, not to fear, no recession. He said, do not listen to the powerful force of prognostication, the force of prognosis, the media that are dictating how you're supposed to feel about the future. He said, let this be a sign to you. Two great banking systems will fall, but it's not something that will destroy this nation. He said, it is the bear and it is the lion. And I said, Lord, what are you talking about? I can't get up there and tell the people that there's going to be a break in the banking system, he said. Good riddance to bad rubbish or to junk. In other words, I've got to do a bit of removing so I, I can take you to the higher place. There will be no recession. Okay, so we're, he talks about two great banking systems. Now, I'm not sure if he's talking about individual banks uh, that have actually collapsed or they needed bailouts or whatever the case. But one thing that struck me here, he says there's going to be a break in the banking system. And what did he then what did Kim Clement say about the dinar? 
that there shall be a break in the, in the system, the dinar. Therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the dinar. All right, so is he talking exactly about the same thing, that there's going to be a break in the banking system? Is that, re is that the break in the system? So that comes from April 18th, 2008. And this comes from September 27th, 2008. God said, what is happening in this nation is so unbelievable. People are saying, where shall we go? Banking systems are falling. God said, I told you that they would. Why? Because Jehovah Jireh and because Al Shaddai, the God is more than enough. Wants to do something special for each one of you, says the Spirit of God. God said, do you realize that I want to prove myself? I want to show up. I want to show off. I want to show you what I can do. I'm looking for people that would agree with me. Right? Well, I will tell you this. When the dinar revalues, God is really going to be showing off. Because when everybody starts talking about this whole dinar thing, we can we can we can we can point to Kim Clement, we can point to the information, we can point to people who've been talking about this for a long time. And many of these people are involved in their walk with and many people of these people are involved in in their walk with God. So you'll be able to say, well, God did this. You know, God allowed me to be able to hear this information and invest. And then now I am blessed. OK, so in this next one, on October 13, 2008, this was an email regarding the economy. Before there was any crisis to speak of. The Spirit of God was already speaking of a time to come when banking systems would fail, but even in the same breath of giving us hope, this shaking would be temporary. All right, and this one's a very important one from October 29, 2010. And this is for sure has not really, uh, this has not happened because it does deal with corruption in the banking system. And it says here, uh, Kim was speaking prophetically, I will bring about change in the next few years and people will begin to rejoice again as I will remove the corruption of the banking system. Yes, the corruption that is within the banking system is being exposed as Lord and I can give people freedom to prosper. And I think that's very important. Uh, you guys already know we've discussed a lot of that if you follow this channel we've discussed a lot of the corruption within the banking system. It's all over in every country in in the public arena and the in the private arena the, the corruption is so huge that it's going to take and has been taking a long time to remove the corruption and we've talked about uh, the mass arrest and so forth but one of the things that also too I wanted to mention was uh, a lot of times when we see uh, prophecy so if God gives something to me or to anybody else a lot of times we think that it's supposed to happen within a week or two weeks or a month. And a lot of and when, when God takes us to another prophetic realm, right, where he takes us to the prophetic realm or a different kind of realm, we're in that moment. And so we're in that moment right there. So when somebody says, I see in the next couple months, but, but God has already taken them from, uh, say right now, uh, it's 2020, God has taken them and and put them in 2024 and then he's saying what he's saying that within the next when somebody says within the next few months he's already in the future and then he's speaking prophetically in the future what he's saying within the next few months from that time where God took him from took him from the present to the future and then he's speaking even further down a little bit more into the future and I've noticed that that has happened a lot within Kim Clement's prophecies. So I just wanted to explain it that way. A lot of times when we see prophetically, it was just like when I saw the dinar and I thought it was going to change. And, you know, they got took me to that moment, which was obviously years down the line. So just because we think that something is supposed to happen doesn't necessarily mean that. So I just wanted to point that out. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things with this banking system is changing. We've just uh, there's a lot of controversy about the Fed and the, and the and the Treasury Department. And all we know is is that this system 
and it has to crash. It has to crash. Because people around the world cannot benefit on a system that only benefits a few. So guys, tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you think about uh, these, uh, these prophetic words concerning uh, the banking system and how it relates to the dinar. And I did see some connections there. Uh, something I didn't see before. And that's why we got to do research. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that we would probably find other gems out there. There is a Facebook group called Kim Clement, a tribute to a great prophet. Uh, I have it up here on the screen. These guys, uh, they, they discuss a lot of the prophecies. You know, and they link current events to what's going on. And they, you know, connect the dots. Try to connect dots here and there. Uh, so you guys want to check that out if you're if especially if you want to expand further on what Kim Clement says because sometimes people will make posts about about a prophecy that nobody's thinking about or nobody's considered uh, concerning you know just many different things uh, but it's a really good group you guys need to uh, check it out so don't forget to sign up for that group there well, I appreciate you guys the support uh, if you guys like these videos that I make uh, the support links are down below in the description and don't forget to give a like a share and make your comment and tell me your thoughts and with that being said twisted christian out